What's up guys? Today we're going to change the bearing in this surface cleaner. It's uh, getting a little wobbly, so we ordered our part from Amazon. Let's get right into it. Here are the tools that you're going to need. You're going to need a wrench. This one happens to be 19 millimeter. Some channel locks, a hex key, snap ring pliers, a couple different sizes there, sockets, and then some Teflon tape for your threaded connections brake cleaner to get everything cleaned back up and your bearings. To get started, we're gonna take off the hose. And then you're gonna remove these pins here so you can get the awkward uneven weight distribution out. Now that we have all of that off, the surface cleaner is a lot easier to handle. So now you're gonna use your channel locks, hold the bottom and twist your spray nozzle off. And then we're going to remove these nuts and pull the bolts out. So now we're going to clean out the debris from this. So while I've got this out, I'll show you the symptom of a bad bearing. You see how this is wobbling here? So if your surface cleaner is doing that, you need a new bearing. Take the snap ring pliers and squeeze this all right so this part could be a little tricky and hard to pull so what you're going to do now that snap rings out you're just going to yank this and it's going to come right out and you'll see the got a lot of grease and all that I'm probably going to have some bearing parts sitting in here so we're going to clean that out with some brake cleaner So adding to the tool list, we need a pair of ice grip or a bench press or something. And then you need something to protect this piece right here. So we're going to take and set it in the vice grips, clamp it in, and then we'll just pull it out like so. So we've got some tiny snap ring pliers here from OEM Tools. You can get those on Amazon as well. We'll put a link in the description. You want to be very careful when removing these that it doesn't fly off. Now we're just going to pull this washer off and now you have access to your bearings. So if your bearings are really shot, they've been exposed to a lot of heat so they can be kind of tricky to get out. You have to get creative. So now we'll clean up the shaft and slide the new bearings on and we'll leave a link for the bearings down in the description. So a little trick to get the new bearings on because they can be kind of stiff, you're going to take a socket bigger than that diameter and put it over top. So now we have our new bearings back on. And now we're putting our new snap ring in and you put that top plate back on. Now you got the top cone. So now we're gonna take that smaller assembly, put it back into the bigger one. Slides right in. Now we have that big snap ring going back in. Check this out. There's not any play in that anymore. It's nice and firm. Put that assembly back on. Make sure when you go to thread your parts back in that you put some fresh Teflon tape on it and thread your spray bar back in. And then we're gonna go ahead and put some new Teflon tape on the hose going to the inlet and thread that back in. Pop the arm bar pins back in. Put the key ring style clip back on. So you're also going to want to add some fresh grease back in. That wraps up this repair. Hope you enjoyed this video and maybe it'll help you make some quick work out of a little bit of maintenance. If you found this helpful, go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.